The United States is vast, ranking as the third largest country in terms of both land area and population. Surprisingly, despite its 334 million residents, nearly half of the country's territory remains devoid of human habitation. In fact, more people call New York City home than the combined populations of the following nine less densely populated states. This prompts the question of why so few Americans choose to reside in these sparsely inhabited and often geographically breathtaking regions. Watch our upcoming video, and if you're as intrigued as we are, show your support with 5,000 likes for an in-depth exploration of the largest and emptiest regions in the world. Maine is located so far north that its residents could easily pass for Canadians. Given the proximity to our friendly maple syrup-loving neighbors and the strikingly similar landscape, with its enchanting pine forests, glacial lakes, rocky coastlines, and iconic moose, it's perplexing to observe that this picturesque state remains largely unpopulated, with a mere 1.385 million inhabitants. The primary reason behind this demographic pattern lies in the climate. A population density map illustrates that nearly every Mainer resides in the southern regions or along the coast, where the soil is more fertile and the winters are tolerably cold. In contrast, the rest of Maine endures brutally long and harsh winters, akin to scenes from Game of Thrones. Consequently, there's limited industrial development in the vast majority of the state, which comprises 89% pristine, untouched forests. Montana, a land of endless farmland in the east and majestic mountains and sky-kissing glaciers in the west, seems like a paradise for aspiring cowboys. Yet, it's surprising that this vast state is home to just 1.12 million residents, despite its massive 147,000 square miles, surpassing the size of Japan while hosting less than 1 slash 100th of its population. Montana ranks as the third least densely populated state, with only 7.5 people per square mile. This becomes apparent when most Americans, especially Millennials and Gen Z, prefer urban living, complete with thriving job markets and city conveniences. Some towns are so remote that the nearest Walmart is a two to three hour drive away. While a summer visit to Glacier National Park may sound delightful, Montana's challenging year-round living conditions make it a harsh choice for all but the most resilient individuals. Rhode Island stands in stark contrast to Montana, not just in terms of size, but also in geography. While Montana boasts vast landlocked expanses and towering mountains, Rhode Island is a small coastal state with a flat landscape covering a mere 1,214 square miles, making it the nation's smallest state. With just under 1.1 million residents, its population is constrained by its limited space. Rhode Island ranks as the second most densely populated state, with 1,619 people per square mile, and a significant portion of the state falls within the Providence metro area, making it highly urbanized. Despite this density, the state has seen a gradual decline in its population, possibly due to a high cost of living, which now rivals that of New York, and increasing competition from other New England states that offer more attractive prospects. Delaware distinguishes itself by being nearly double the size of Rhode Island, yet it remains exceptionally small, encompassing just 1,948 square miles, a size roughly comparable to that of Anchorage. While Rhode Island's population benefits from the presence of the mid-sized city of Providence, Delaware's largest city, Wilmington, only houses around 70,000 residents. The absence of large metropolises in Delaware can be puzzling, especially given that the state accommodates over two million corporations. Wilmington could have been a likely contender, but its proximity to Philadelphia, located just 30 miles upstream and less prone to storms, halted the development of a significant city in Delaware. Most of Delaware is situated outside the I-95 corridor and traditional trade routes, resulting in an economy primarily dependent on beach tourism, eliminating the need for large cities. South Dakota, known for Mount Rushmore, one of America's most renowned cultural landmarks, is hard to forget, though it's certainly not worth the overwhelming marketing hype surrounding it. The fact that Waldrug, a drugstore, serves as one of the most exciting attractions for hundreds of miles around speaks volumes about South Dakota. This state is vast, remote, and sparsely populated, not to mention quite chilly, which explains why it ranks as the fifth smallest state in terms of both population and population density, with just 999,000 residents. To put this into perspective, South Dakota's land area is 177% larger than Florida's, 
yet it has fewer residents than Jacksonville. Historically, many of the Great Plains states didn't require major urban centers. Given their predominantly rural populations and economies, primarily based on agriculture and mining. However, traveling through the fields of South Dakota feels even more lonely than in Nebraska or Kansas, with fewer homes, farms, truck stops, and traces of civilization to be found. North Dakota, ranked fourth, encapsulates many challenges similar to those faced by South Dakota, but magnified tenfold with the added element of oil production. This state is home to some of the darkest and coldest winters in the contiguous United States, coupled with sweltering and humid summers, not to mention the recurring menace of severe springtime flash floods. With fewer than 780,000 residents, North Dakota remains sparsely populated, which isn't surprising given that South Dakota boasts more appealing landscapes, better weather, tax laws, and a more diversified economy. North Dakota's extreme isolation from major urban centers also limits the accessibility of supplies and services. As a result, North Dakota never experienced the substantial permanent population growth or industrial development necessary to warrant large cities. Alaska, the third largest state, truly lives up to its title as the Big Daddy of States. It's so vast that if you split it in half, each part would still be significantly more significant than any other state. Spanning 665,000 square miles, the majority of Alaska remains inaccessible and isolated. Even within Alaska, towns are often hundreds of miles apart, and some of the largest communities are only accessible by air or water. But despite its breathtaking beauty, Alaska's wilderness can be a harsh mistress. Only around 733,000 residents are willing to endure its lonely, long, dark, and frigid winters, where temperatures often plummet to 40 degrees below zero, and daylight lasts less than four hours a day. Vermont, often associated with being the home of Bernie Sanders, is typically envisioned as a place of idyllic farmhouses nestled amid the vibrant fall foliage, where residents wake up to the serene sounds of chirping birds and rushing streams, spreading Vermont maple syrup over hearty breakfasts. This image aligns with reality, as despite being the sixth smallest state in terms of land area, Vermont truly embodies a rural haven. Only 38.9% of its residents reside in urban centers. The state's mountainous and forested landscape isn't conducive to significant city development, which is the primary reason behind its sparse population, numbering just 647,000 residents. Despite this, Vermont's breathtaking scenery, affordability compared to the rest of New England, and a thriving job market in Burlington have made it the most popular state for relocation since 2020. Before we reveal the top spot, please remember to like and subscribe. Let me know which of these states you prefer to live in. We also have three honorable mentions with larger populations than Maine, but are still sparsely inhabited, aside from one or two major cities. First is New Mexico, with a population of 2.1 million, but it's also the fifth largest state by total area, resulting in a population density of only 17.2 people per square mile, ranking as the sixth lowest in the country. If you exclude the Albuquerque metro area, where almost half of New Mexicans reside, the rest of the state is even emptier than North Dakota. Then there's Idaho, which saw its population grow by over 100,000 residents in just the past two years. But it remains very sparsely populated, featuring the most untouched national forest in the nation and a population density of just 22.3 people per square mile. Lastly, Nevada boasts a substantial population of 3.18 million, yet 83% of the state is uninhabited and 93% resembles an uninhabited desert. Without further ado, we arrive at the top spot, which goes to Wyoming. Unless you've been living under a rock or in a place like Rock Springs, you've likely heard that Wyoming is known for having very few residents. While it's true that Wyoming is the second least densely populated state, with just 5.9 people per square mile, it's worth noting that 581,000 people do call it home. Wyoming's rugged and sparsely populated landscape isn't for the faint of heart, particularly given the absence of significant cities and limited employment opportunities and services. In fact, without government employment, Wyoming's economy might struggle to exist, with 25% of its workforce serving in state or federal positions. This unique employment makeup, though, makes Wyoming one of the safest states for buying a home. 